hi guys thank you all so much for coming back and checking out this video so today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how I dealt with my mom's extremely matted tangly knotted hair alright so I'm gonna show you guys the process that I took to detangle her hair without losing a lot of hair alright so let me tell you guys a little bit of background about how we got into the situation now my mom she is a serial big chopper she's always doing a big chop um, she has been trying to go natural ever since I went natural. She will go natural. She will cut off all of her relaxer. Before I know it, she relaxed it again. Before I know it, she cut it again. Back and forth. I have tried to kind of give her points and guidance, but it never really worked. She never really, um, she was never really interested in learning how to take care of her natural hair. And she's still not very, she doesn't know how to take care of her natural hair. Let me just say she does not know how to do it. But recently, she went natural again because of just bad relaxers. You know, she keep on getting bad relaxers. So she just said, okay, forget it this time. No more. I'm just going to stick with this. So now she's more open-minded in learning how to take care of her natural hair. All right, guys. So I'm not going to jump into the video so that I can show you guys how I dealt with the tangly matted hair. All right, guys, so welcome to the scene of the crime, you guys. Most of her hair was matted up. It looked like she was trying to freedom lock her hair, okay? It looked like straight up locks. It felt like locks. Um, so, yeah, check that out. Wow. Her hair was just so matted, you guys, and so dry. It looked like it could have just fallen off of her hair in any minute. So, I knew that I had to go in and really 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 use tender loving care I started off by separating the hair into small sections and then on top of that I added coconut oil and uh, conditioner all right and I worked in the coconut oil and the conditioner really worked that in really really well making sure that the hair felt hydrated and moisturized and once I felt that the hair was hydrated and, and moisturized I started to pull the matted hair apart so you don't really want to start pulling it apart until the hair feels super hydrated otherwise you're going to be ripping the hair out of her hair all right so i went in all right i went in i put my gloves on i put my detective glasses okay because we are in at the scene of the crime and we are about to solve a problem all right <laughs> So I started to pull the hair apart little by little and little by little pulling the matted hair apart you guys This takes time because I don't want to rip her hair out So once I ran into a situation where I feel I could not get in I just went back added more coconut oil and gently attempted to uh, Separate the matted hair apart So yes more coconut oil just gently working through those matted hair until I can the goal is to separate all of the matted hair until we can get to maybe a single stranded um, tangle um, so you, you want to work with smaller tangle as opposed to a tangle that is all bunched together so I'm trying to separate the hair until I can get to single tangled hair as opposed to a uh, hair that is all bunched together in mats all right so yeah just I kept on doing that you guys I kept on just gently pulling her hair apart gently pulling her hair apart and feeling for more tangles pulling it apart back and forth you guys so this takes time it takes a lot of time you don't want to rush through this this is what I was trying to say now I have a smaller uh, tangle to work with check that out tell me that does not look like freedom locks it looks like legit freedom locks so once I can get to a smaller section of tangled hair it's easier to work with that hair because then you not you risk not uh, losing as much hair um, than working with like a big section of of tangled hair so I just keep on pulling it apart pulling it apart pulling it apart you know just adding more coconut oil gently working it in and pulling it apart from each other and I'm gonna 
keep on doing this until I can get to even smaller section of tangles just like this one and once I can get to smaller section of tangles like this I take one or two strands at a time okay so I take a tiny little strands at a time until I can get the tangle out of her hair filling for more tangles by stretching her hair and just working my finger through it filling for more of the tangles okay and once I feel a tangle I isolate a tangle and work through that tangle just like that you guys they're taking small little strand at a time away from each other small tiny little strand away this saves hair you know this will save more strand of hair on top of her head as opposed to it being left in a trash can so keep on taking small little strand at a time away until we can get the hair to be fully detangled and not free there there's one there goes one tangle as y'all can see small little strand at a time and therefore she loses less hair and then after each section I go over that section with a detangling brush I love detangling brushes like this I feel like it's more effective when dealing with a situation like this where the hair is just super matted and super tangly I find the detangling brush similar to that to be more effective in getting through the hair and making sure that the hair is nicely detangled it was intense you guys but I am so glad that I was able to get through all of that hair without losing too much hair just gently pulling the hair apart until you can get the smaller section and then with a the smaller section taking small tiny little strand out of the the tangle i worked through it um really nicely until i feel like her hair doesn't have any matte tangles or not once i'm done like i mentioned before i go over each section with a detangling comb and then i put each section into twist look at that it's nice and fluffy it looks alive again <laughs> and when she was all finished I put her under a deep conditioning cup and she sat under there for about 45 minutes and then I put a t-shirt and allow her to dry um, this prevents dry uh, prevents her hair from drying out and even after her hair was fully washed um, some of the sections still had a little bit of knotting so I did the same step I went through each section anytime I discovered a knot I isolated it and gently pull it apart and then I went over that section with whip shea butter a generous amount of whip shea butter I worked that through her hair until that was melted in her hair and her hair felt super soft and then I went over her hair again once again gently with the detangling brush and look at that her hair is full of life super bouncy super soft super thick you would not have thought that her hair looked like this from how it was looking in the beginning all right guys so that was the end of the tutorial I hope you guys find it useful and helpful and so if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell and I'll talk to you next time bye